My name is Rebecca Rice. My, hi. <laughs> My pronouns are she and her. And I first came to the river in the summer of 2017, a year after my wife Rose and I uh, moved from Dallas to Sunrise. Now, the five years prior to that were a little bit challenging for us. Um, from 2011 to 2015, both of my parents passed away. Um, two aunts that I was very close to also passed away. Two very dear friends passed away, and four of our very dear friends moved away. So we were look. I think Dallas was pretty much done with us, and we were ready to move on. We needed to move on. Um, so we started looking around, and you know where we wanted to take the next chapter of our lives, and we decided on Southeast Florida. Even though I'd never been to Southeast Florida before, I've been to Key West, been to um, um, Fort Myers. Um, but not to Southeast Florida, and certainly not to Sunrise and Davie. Well, we made the move anyway, and the only person we knew here was my brother-in-law. So we were really starting all over again, and now we were fortunate that both of us were able to find jobs. And so it took us about six months to get settled into our house, and then, you know, another six months or so to get settled into our jobs and, and our lives and get the cats settled down. and and all of that and so about the middle of the middle of the summer of 2017 I started thinking that I really wanted to find a spiritual home um, so I started looking around now I grew up in the Presbyterian Church which actually was a very positive experience um, but I didn't really want to go back to the Presbyterian Church because it seemed a little structured for me now and I'd also spent some time, about, about a decade, at the Unity Church of Dallas. But I felt like I had done that, and I really wanted to move forward and get a little bit, just something else. I wasn't sure exactly what, but a little bit more. And I had friends who were Unitarian Universalists, one really dear couple friend who live in Oakland, California, and a handful of others in, who are still in Dallas who went to the Unitarian Church of Dallas. Um, so I started thinking about Unitarian Universalism, and I went online, and I started researching, and I found River of Grass, and the, at that moment, the best part of it was that uh, your, the River of Grass was like five minutes from my house, and, and that meant that, you know, I would actually show up, because there was... There was a, uh, as you know, there was a Unitarian Universalist Church in Fort Lauderdale and a Unity Church in Fort Lauderdale, but that's 30 minutes away, and I couldn't count on myself to show up on a regular basis, so I, I gave River of Grass a shot, and I felt very comfortable right away. Uh, Y'all checked off a lot of my boxes, the commitment to social justice, human rights, you're a very, very welcoming community to the LGBTQ plus um, group, which is very important to me and my wife, because we didn't want to go somewhere where we weren't welcome. You all have made us feel very welcome. Um, and over time, I've made some really great friends here, and I was able to be become part of the Movies for Change group, uh, which for a lifelong film nerd like me is right up my alley. So if you all ever think about uh, coming to join us one Wednesday night a month to talk about movies... Please come. It's really fun. So uh, I found River of Grass. Um, and over time, as I got more involved with y'all, what, what surprised me, or what I didn't know, I'm not sure it really surprised me, but I just didn't know it until I experienced it with y'all. I found out how resilient this group of people are. How for 25 years, you guys have just grown and flowed with the river and just made it work. And sometimes it seems like it was just by sheer force of will. But you've done it, and I was really impressed by that. And that really kind of you know added to my, like my little checklist of things I was, didn't know I was looking for, but found here with this group of wonderful people who are very welcoming. Um, no guilt, no dogma. Um, everybody seems to be really in, you know, working toward emotional health, which was very important to Rose and me because we both battled depression and emotional health. And being aware of that and striving for that has been a big, big thing for us. Um, so I found all of that here. 
Um, and there's one other thing that sort of on, on the notion of resilience and openness and what makes River of Grass different. There's a Facebook meme floating around that some of you may have seen. It goes like this. There's a college professor who invites a Buddhist monk to come speak to their class. And the day the Buddhist monk shows up, the professor introduces the monk. The monk doesn't say anything initially. He just silently walks to the whiteboard, picks up a marker and writes, everybody wants to change the world, but no one wants to do the dishes. Yeah, everyone wants to change the world, but no one wants to do the dishes. And I reflected on that and thought about it and realized that, you know what, that's exactly the untrue for River of Grass. This place is exactly the opposite of that. Everybody here wants to help mom do the dishes. In fact, I've seen, all, I've seen every single one of you get up and actually help mom do the dishes every day. And that's really important. And for that reason and all the other, the others that I have mentioned, uh, I give my time, my talents, and my hard-earned cash to support the river and keep, help keep you all flowing and growing. And the reason you all are so successful is that you do it together. And the world needs more of your example of standing on the side of love. So I hope you'll join me in making your contribution this year to keep the river flowing and growing. We're starting on a new chapter. Some really exciting things are coming up. I can just feel it in my bones. So thank you all for being so welcoming here to me and my wife. And uh, thank you all.